Good day, my farming friends. How the heck are you? Welcome back to Chilliton Valley, the Wackadoodle No Sense Challenge. I am exactly where I uh, left off last time. I went and got the uh, trailer and uh, got it right here and uh, ready to go. So emptying the combine out here with that fine and outstanding uh, Chillington wheat that we are uh, harvesting and we'll get underway. So yeah, so right where we left off, uh, Wackadoodle is still over there mowing. There's the Wackadoodle. He is over there mowing. I'm over here combining. So it is still, of course, right where I left off. So still the second day of midsummer. Uh, 4.39 in the afternoon. So big day. We got a big day ahead of us. We have some decisions to make. We still have $607,822 in the bank. I'm not going to be worried if I'm going to do the loan thing until it gets close to midnight. Because, I, you know, I don't have to make that decision. Because I'm paying no interest right now. I'll pay it at midnight. Um, I still haven't, you know, I still haven't, uh, I still haven't figured out what exactly I'm going to do yet. A lot of fine and outstanding suggestions from all you fine and outstanding people, but, um, we'll just kind of have to play it by ear and see how today goes. I got a lot to do. I've got, let's see, what's on the agenda, agenda for the rest of this day? As it stands right now without, oh crap, drive straight there, buddy. Uh, as it stands now, without additional fields, all I really can think of is getting this field done, uh, build up, straw bales sold, the wheat sold, and be done with it. There is um, fields, if I do buy, that I could go and harvest right away, and there is mowing that um, can be done, but it's not, um, it's not a necessity right now at the moment because... You know, the grass is still going to go for another day and day and two. Well, three days, actually. Oh, wait, well. Oh, crap. The stupid header gets stuck on the straw swath. Um, yeah, at least for three days. So I'm not too worried about that. Now, the one thing I didn't quite look at is in our grass fields. Um, let's see. I want to go to growth. So in our grass fields, um, 81 is grass. So that's the last growth stage. Or no, second to last. No, last. That's got to be last. And then 77 is... Our grass up north is still growing. We don't have any other grass. No, that was it. Um, yeah. Yeah. 29 corn, 28 corn, 35 corn, 37 oats, 60 soybeans, 93 soybeans, 107 soybeans, riverbank soybeans. Yep, so that's that's all, yeah, 81 and 77. Oh, 95, I forgot about 95. 95, 81, 77 are two grass fields, which, I mean, I would just keep going. Could be could be mowed, but, it, 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 you know, it feels good that the pressure is not hanging over your shoulder like you have to get something done within the next hour or something you know what I mean it um, that feels pretty good so yeah I don't know um let me think about it a little bit but what I probably do now is I'm just going to keep combining this field and like I said in the last episode it's going to be a one-man show from now on I'm gonna I gave every they're, they're all down in the Caribbean they're having a good time uh I'm gonna do everything by myself so no follow me no um no workers we're just gonna do it myself and kind of go for this. So right now, I just gotta finish combining this till it's not huge, it's not real big. So, I guess my next, my what I, what I do next will be dependent on what time I finish this field and get it all bailed up, and the bales sold and the wheat sold. That will determine what how much time I have left. I I really do not like um, farming in the dark. It's just hard for me to see, and um, yeah. So, as long as I can get something done before it gets dark, probably gets dark around. 8, 8, 30, 9 o'clock in the second day of summer because it stays late. It stays light late. So we can just kind of go from there. But um, maybe just turn the tunes on for a little bit. We'll speed it up and um, go from there. But thanks for stopping in today. I sincerely appreciate it. I hope you're having a uh, fabulous Thursday. And uh, life is treating you well, my friends. Cheers.
Well, my friends, that field is all harvested. I've got a trailer load of wheat, and I still have about a hopper full. So we are doing pretty good in that department. That was a, that was a pretty good yield on that, fully fertilized, too. So we'll um, get this wheat dropped off. We'll have to come back, empty the uh, hopper of the combine, and then we'll um, go up to the store and grab the baler and the trailers. We'll come down and start baling some straw. So that's like a fairly good plan to me, sitting at $607,000. You see that wackadoodle? You see that uh, he's been looking at my field today, and he's been trying to come up with the money, but he's just, you know, he's so short. It's just unbelievable. Holy bucket, stay on the road. So, yeah, it seems like it's going to be a, a fight for that field, but I don't know. I've, I've got two game plans figured out, one with that field and one without that field. So, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards letting the kid have it, you know. I don't want him to cry because then he'll cry and he'll say it was all because of that. Well, I don't want that to happen, and I don't know. I, you know, I know he was doing the math and trying to figure it out, but I don't know if it's going to be that profitable, though. I, I really don't. I mean, the yield on it wouldn't be very, very good. And if the if does the straw affect the is the yield the straw affected by the yield too? I wonder if the yield's not that good. Is the straw not that good? I don't know. But yeah, you would have a kill in the straw bales, that's for sure. But we we'll have to give that some thought to you right now. I want to get this. Um, Get this unloaded, get those bales picked up of straw. There was another field that uh, some wackadoodle uh, didn't want to pick up the straw on. So I, I could buy that field and just pick up the straw real quick and then turn around and sell it. I could do that. Um, that is an option, too, while I'm doing, doing straw. But we'll get the straw picked up. We're heading to Ball Star, Ball, Ball Stall? Ball, I don't know. Stores. <laughs> and we're going to drop off this wheat here. And we'll go back and unload the hopper. Then I'm going to start bailing up that straw. So we got a lot to do. We have a lot to do without hitting the little minivan here. Um, come on, trailer. Get turned in there, trailer. Nope. Got to jackknife it in there. Wheat, not so good. 1882 a bushel. So it's not the greatest um, profit-making thing. Here, we'll make a little bit off it. We had 1,200 bushels in the trailer, so it's, it's something. It all adds up. It all adds up to something. And then, of course, once we're done uh, bailing up that straw, we'll sell that field, and that'll even add to the coffers even more. So um, I was pretty excited about that field. That was a good one to get. Yeah, 24032 bucks out of um, that field so far, plus the bills. We'll have to keep that in mind, how much money we make. I'm kind of curious um, what we make off that one field. But, yeah, things are going pretty good. Things are going really good, my friends. Well, why don't I get the other... That hopper sold, we'll sell that wheat there, and I'll get the uh, baler and the trailers moved down to that field. We'll start bailing that up and um, kind of go from there and then figure out what step is next. We don't, we have, let's see, no, we don't. We have nothing else available to mow or harvest today. So that's all tomorrow. Well, I don't think corn will be tomorrow. I don't think corn and soybeans will be tomorrow. I think they'll be probably the first or second day of autumn. So we'll have um, some oats to harvest and some more grass to mow tomorrow. But there, other than that, there's really nothing else today. So, you know, once I was sitting there thinking, oh, man, I'm going to be working until midnight. You know, now I kind of, since we changed this up a little bit, I think I'm, I'm sit actually sitting pretty darn good, my friends. But, uh, yeah, let me, let me wrap this up here, get the bale started, and uh, we'll go from there. Cheers. Yeah, we're going to start this baling process. I made a couple laps around the field already, but I was just thinking to myself, man, what a great week it's been for um, council players, hasn't it? Man, I tell you what, and, and my good friend Kaz64, who uh, worked, oh, man, over a year, two years, to get um, maps on council, and, like, Rustic Acres came out. That's one map that I played. I've got hundreds and hundreds of hours on Rustic Acres, over 40 episodes on it. Love it. That came out to council, and then his other map, Alamosta Farm, came out to council. And then, of course, Oxygen David got his things uh, squared away with, with uh, the Mod Hub, so our Giants modding department. And Chellington Valley came out yesterday. This map, oh, man, it was awesome. Yeah, because Golf Cart and I were talking about it, that, uh, you know, we chose this map when it was out, came out on Giants Mod Hub for PC, was going to come out on council shortly, so we chose this to do this. And then, of course, all the stuff that's happened, but now it's back on, so... That's good stuff. I'm telling you, good stuff. Um, that was good things to get things worked out between Oxygen David and uh, Giants and my buddy Kaz64 got his maps out. I would tell you, great. Absolutely wonderful stuff. So, we're just bailing this up real quick. I think the wackadoodle 
I keep an eye on him and I keep opening this up every so often to see if uh, 92 turned red or not. So far, it is still white. So I think he's a little short in the money. But uh, if he does some, if he does some bailing, and um, gets them off the field, he can just he can sell a lot of fields. So he'll have a lot of act, a lot of money, access to money here in the near future. So I, I think he's gonna, I think he's going to go for it. I think he's going to drop the hammer on that. Even though I could just disappoint him and buy it right now, but man, I don't, I just don't know. I mean, I I think he is determined that it's going to make big big bucks, but I don't know, man. There's so many other fields down here that have crops growing in them, in grass fields that I think if you just I mean, 500,000 is a lot of money. So what other fields could you get for 500,000 bucks? You know, is the other question. What are you, you going to get off of it? If it had some fertilizing states on it, then I could I could definitely see how it would be worth it. Because we, we, this little field here, we uh, sold 30,000 worth of wheat. And then plus we're going to have the bales. So there's a good, there's a, I'm, I'm anxious to see how much money comes off this field. And then, of course, once we're done baling it and uh, picking it up, then we can turn around and sell it again. So... They put our put our money anyway. This is this is going to be an interesting end of this. It, it really is going to be interesting, and I, I'm 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 guaranteed it's going to I'm guaranteeing it's going to be close. It's going to be close. It's going to be well close. I don't think it's going to be a blowout on either side. Um, if you asked me a couple days ago, I thought he had me, but then again, I don't know. Now I'm now I'm thinking I'm I'm sitting pretty good, but whatever it is, it'll all be fun and games. So uh, I'll carry on here for a little while. You don't got to watch me do this, but I'm going to keep to my promise. That it's going to be just me working. Just me working. Uh, no hired workers, no nobody else. They're in the Caribbean enjoying margaritas. Yeah, Draco, you sent me a screenshot of them on the beach today and the girls in their bikinis. And oh man, I said, you enjoy it. You enjoy it. I got to beat the wackadoodle. But uh, oh, it's all good. Anyway, I'll just keep going some more. Maybe I'll talk to you when the end, it's to the end here. And I can't talk today. There's something wrong with me today that I cannot talk. I am mumbling. Um, I haven't even been drinking yet, is the problem. Maybe I should start drinking. Maybe that'll fix my problem. But anyways, uh, we'll see you in a little bit, my friends. All right, just making the final little pass here on this field with the straw bales. Not bad production on straw bales. No, we got we got a, we got a good chunk of straw bales here that will sell just right over here at this farm. And oh crap, I'm missing some there. I think I got everything done around there. I don't think I have another pass. It was just this one up here on the end. When I turned around, and didn't want to be bumping into bales, so I left this one for last. But that should be all the straw. A few little patches here and there. I'm not too worried about that. Um, there we go. Yeah, let's see. Maybe, maybe I could get at least one more, this last bale out of here. I think I have one, uh, one grass bale, did I? No, what was I baling last time? What did I, what was I baling? Um, I can't remember. I can't remember what I was bailing. Anyways, it doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, the first bill that came out of here would have been, oh, it would have been uh, uh, alfalfa. Yeah, it would have been alfalfa. I think I had one alfalfa bailing here. But we'll just finish this up. I'm going to hook this thing on the road here. We'll hook up to the bail trailers, and we will um, start loading them up. Oh, man, 1%. Yeah, there's my one alfalfa bale right there. Oh, now I still have to go get the other half, don't I? Yeah, it's like the preload. Eh, maybe I can find enough here. I missed a couple things here. Eighty-six. I <laughs> just say clock driving around trying to find a little piece of straw here and there. Oh man, is this even worth one? I mean, it's just one bill, but. I mean, I'm going to be bailing some more stuff here in the near future, so. But the only thing nice about it is if, you, if you're doing. Um, Silage bales. Your first one is not um, is not crap. Oh, look out, bale! Oh, crap! On top of the bale! Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Come on, baler. Just drive right over the bale. There you go. Now, the interesting thing is trying to time this right so it just hits a. It just hits it as I uh, am full. I thought you could unload. I well, know you, you really can't, can you? I thought you could reset the baler, and that would empty it. 94, 95, 95, 96, 97, 99, <laughs> 90, this is so dumb, for one straw bale, come on, 
If I, yeah. Well, I suppose if you lose by one straw bill, that would really be that. that would really be the kicker, wouldn't it? You gonna get to 100? Come on, right here. This little spot, get to 100. Color done. There we go. Okay. And the baler's empty. Look at that. Nice. Um, so, yeah. Oh, 22. Oh, it says 0% straw. What, why is that? 22 liters in there? Oh, that's dumb. Okay. So, let's look up to the bill trailers, which are over there in the corner here. And we will unhook this, conduct them, and load these bales up. We'll take them right over there to uh, Meadow, is it Meadow Grove? I think, it, I think it's Meadow Grove over there, isn't it? Um, unhook, yeah, right over there. I think that's Meadow Grove. And one elf alpha bale. I'm not going to take, I'm not going to do that separately. We're just going to all go to the same place. Um, my time is a little more valuable than that. Let's see, what are we on? You, switch. You. There you go. Grab up these bales and see what time is it. I can't. It's so light out there. Uh, 6.05 in the evening. Not too bad. We got plenty of daylight left. So now we got to decide what, what to do. Now we really have to decide. The wackadoodle has still not pulled the trigger on that field. Maybe he's still bailing and trying to sell some fields yet. But he has not pulled the trigger on that. That is still available for sale if we go that way. Like I said, I, I had it kind of figured out down to two options. And the other option that I, I just sent the wackadoodle a message, and I haven't got a response back yet. But I want to know if he wants to make an agreement that there'll be no more tree cutting, because that's because if if there's going to be tree cutting, then I have a third option, a third plan to go to. So I kind of want to make sure that's a plan. I'm not real interested in um, in you know like the last day both of us are just running around trying to cut down as many trees as we can and how many loads we can get because then we're just offsetting each other you know what i mean um it's like okay he'll he'll sell his load for thirty thousand i'll around sell load for thirty thousand so it's just it really doesn't mean much you know you're not nobody's really going to get ahead doing that because we can just both be on here the same amount of time cutting down trees selling them so it's like okay well who can drive faster um well if it comes down to a driving contest, I certainly got that one. Uh, this this little current turn there, no exception. Uh, so I certainly have the driving contest one. Oh, man. Um, yeah, we got a lot of bales out here. We got more than uh, one load here. I'll have to come back and get another trailer load. Uh, yeah, I still have. Oh, yeah. Yep. We have just a little bit left to come and get. And then this field will be considered done. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nice. Okay, let's see. Where is that farm? It is right up there. Right up there. How do you get there? We can just drive through the countryside, can't we? Um, drive through Wackadoodle's grass field. And he's got grass laying there. Yeah, he does. I haven't seen him down here yet. He's been over there by his home farm, just doing all the grass over there so far. I got the combine, the trailer sitting here. That's not too bad. We'll wait and see what, what the plan's going to be, and then we might use we might be using that yet today. We might. Um, oh, tree I got stuck in a tree there. So we had thirty thousand dollars in um, in wheat sale. Plus we'll have the uh, two loads plus eleven bales of straw bales. So we'll see how much money we made off that little field. And that was not a big field. I mean, it was a decent sized field, but it wasn't uh, another another tree I got stuck in. It wasn't a gigantic field by any means, but. Yeah, there's his grass there. He's got to come bail that up. Oh, this is a tight corner. This is almost a hedge corner here. Hedge corner. So I'd be curious to see um, in the uh, comments if anybody is now playing Shellington Valley or um, Alamosa or Alamosta. 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 Al 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 Alamosta. Yeah, or Rustic Acres. Let me know in the comments if you guys are, if anybody's playing either one of them. Um, I don't know if I said this yesterday or not, but I, I've done so much on Rustic that um i debated going back there but um i don't know okay here we go Thirty thousand big bucks no whammies so 57 that's uh, thirty-five thousand seven hundred. there should be another 5700 um six thousand oh i had the one alfalfa alpha bill you mean the straw bale was worth more than the alfalfa bale then? Because the straw bale would have, the, the alfalfa bale would have been on the first trailer. I got stuck in the damn wall there. 
So 6,000, 5,000, so that's 41,700 bucks we have made off that field so far. That's not bad. Let me sell the rest and I'll be right back with you. All right, just made 32.92 more. So what did I say, 47, 40, 50,200 bucks, 300 bucks. I mean, I'm telling you, 50,000 bucks is not bad. Not bad at all. So we have completed that task here on field uh, 67. So if we go in there, 67 was worth 202,000. We can sell that. So right now in the bank, we have got nine hundred and eleven thousand dollars. I'm telling you, I I th I think I think we I think we just won this thing. I think we just uh, totally annihilated the wackadoodle. But I don't know. It's, it's he's got he's got well this field here. He's got major bucks in that field. He bought that field for over two hundred thousand. Um, you know he's got a lot of land. I don't. I got little parcels. Yeah, I don't have much. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. What's he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine big nine fields plus the farmstead. Plus he got eleven in the farmstead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we each have the same amount of fields right now as it stands. Um, how much money does Wackadoodle have? Four hundred thirty-five thousand. So he hasn't really, he hasn't sold anything. Um, yeah, he's still here. What am I looking at? So now I got now I got to figure out what to do. We could we could buy ninety two right now and just so then you know the thing about that is we could buy that so the, the wackadoodle doesn't need to uh, worry about it anymore. But as far as that growth, we have got eighty and eighty two. Well, let's see. Let's just get out. Of, let's just get out of the vehicle here. Um, holy crap! I got my fast boots on. I didn't mean to have my fast boots on. Um, these are these two fields over here. So I think this is 82 on the south side. 82 is oats. It's ready to harvest, 100% fertilized, okay? Across the road is wheat, ready to harvest, 33% fertilized. So that's not bad. So we got those two there. The big one we talked about. And then 27 is something else, but it's no fertilization, 27. And then 11 and 14 are still growing, plus my field 37 here. Now, there is all this stuff over here, uh, which, I, which I've contemplated. Uh, I'll meet you over there in a second. All righty, my friends. I walked halfway over to that horse grass and turned around and said, no, because I remember, it's just, it's just grass. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't sell as horse grass. It's just regular grass. And uh, no fertilization, no nothing, so I gave them that idea. But I came up with a plan, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm down at the dealership. I've got the lease tractor down here to Zeke. And this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to, first of all, got a lot of money in the bank. I am just going to go in here, and I'm going to repay the loan for the night. I won't have any kind of interest costs overnight, and I'll save a little bit of money there. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So once I repay the loan of five hundred thousand dollars, or we'll be down to four sixteen. Okay, so that's good. No more loan, no interest cost overnight. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is I am going to return the leased tractor. This may be a bad idea, but I've I've kind of added it up in my head the the daily operating hour that I'm paying and the daily rate that I'm paying, and I'm paying a lot of money. And I think my depreciation over the next four days would be a heck of a lot less than that. So um, I'm going to lease. I'm going to return the tractor. And Zeke is going to go down and pick up the uh, combine right now. He's gonna, I'm going to return that. And then I'm also going to return the, uh, the header. So there. Now, going to the owned items. Because I'm doing everything myself now, it's only 208 bucks. I'm just going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and Zeke's gonna come pick up all this stuff. I, I'm not gonna drive it here. I'm gonna sell the tractor for 208 bucks. It'd be interesting to know what I would get if I brought it down here, but Zeke's gonna go pick it up. I also don't need the plow anymore, so I am going to uh, sell that back to Zeke. I would have got a little bit more if I brought it down here. And I'm gonna sell the fertilizer spreader. I don't need that anymore. And the chainsaw. I'm not gonna do any more logging. I'm not, I'm not gonna do any more logging. I, the wackadoodle said he doesn't have plans to do logging. If I do, I'll just get another chainsaw. I'm going to sell the chainsaw. And, of course, I don't need the Wopster, so we'll sell that. So there. That's what I own. Two trailers, or two bale trailers, the uh, end dump trailer, or the slide trailer for my grains, the mowers, and my baler. So that leaves me with $430,000 in the bank. Now, 
Zeke, I made an order with Zeke. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy some stuff. I'm, I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy some stuff because I, I did the math. I, I think I'm gonna come out ahead uh, for what I need. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy that <laughs> the tractor I just turned in. I'm gonna buy that. I want the front uh, three point on there. I want wheel weights, and I'm gonna put the 310 in it. So basically, the second thing I just returned. I'm just pretending I'm gonna buy that back. So we're gonna buy that. So that is now owned, and then I am going to um, buy the same combine that I just turned in because I have soybeans to harvest, I have oats to harvest, and I have corn to harvest. So I'm going to spend a lot of hours in a combine, and I'm just going to keep the standard one. It's fine with me. It's worked good. I like it. I'm going to buy that, and then I'm going to buy a uh, corn header. I'm going to buy the uh, iconic one because it's actually a little bit cheaper, uh, this one. I'm going to buy that. And then I'm going to buy the header. So there. I think, you know, there, there really is an interesting thing between leasing and, um, and buying. But I have, you know, four days left of this challenge. And I'm going to have a lot of hours on the equipment. So I'm down to 147775 I want a combine, a header. And I don't think for the next four days this equipment is going to depreciate that bad. I'm gonna, I, I know how much I just spent on all this stuff. I'm interested to see at the end how much the depreciation cost me. So I have that all set up to go get the combine, the two headers, and the uh, tractor. So I don't got to worry about leasing costs. I don't have to worry about um, interest overnight. I am debt free. So with 147000 I'm going to go back into the menu. And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, Wackadoodle is going to do it too. And I agreed with him. I think he's going to do the, kind of the same thing pay off the loan and wait till tomorrow to see what we want to buy. But I am going to buy one field. And now, 80. Here's the difference. 80 to 80 needs lime. No, 80 does not need lime. 80 does not need to be plowed, but it only has one fertilizing state on it. 82 needs to be lime and plowed, but it's got full fertilization and it's a little bit bigger. So I'd be interested to see what the yield difference would have been between that one and that one. But I'm going to go for the fertilization state. I think that's more important. I'm going to buy 82 at 105,888. So now I have $41,000 in the bank. Can't really do anything with that. I'm just going to hold on to it. And uh, I am going to take the rest of the night off and relax and uh, snuggle with Sophie. So that's the plan. That is the plan. Tomorrow is the third day of summer. The crap's going to get real tomorrow. I guarantee you that, my friends. But anyways, I'll leave it there for today. I want to thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I sincerely appreciate every comment that I get. Uh, you guys stay safe and healthy and uh, keep them between the ditches. So long.